Today, I sat down with the mother of the deceased child, who we will call Rosie. It's not a real name, but because of the feared backlash, she's asked us to conceal her identity. Four-year-old Nashawn Brown in happier times. As we prepared to do the interview, we couldn't help but notice his mother going through pictures. It's all she has left of him after his shocking death Sunday. Shocking because she'd hoped to see her only child grow into adulthood. It was just days before the tragedy that they moved to Willardine St. Catherine. According to Rosie, Nashawn had been feeling sick from Saturday. I think some Billy had her team score. We were giving tea and whatever because we figured it was the gas. Fast forward to the fateful day when there was little improvement in Nashan's condition, worsened by the fact he had lost his appetite. Still, Rosie says she encouraged her son to eat. That's when the stepfather intervened. You know, we didn't feel a good while. I tell him, say, eat the food, eat the food, eat the food, eat the food. If I eat it, and tell him, say, you might get one whip for you. So when he picked the whip and come in, I said, he fell licking with that, you know, me I have a done. But this time, the other kids them did the outside. So I left them here when that took place. He said, I'm for shut up my mouth. She says it went downhill from there. You beat him once with the stick. How long was that? It was a, what, for two hours or so. So the little boy, basically, he beat him for about two hours, you're saying? Yeah. So he would stop and then go back or? Stop, go back, stop, go back. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell him, say, now that is enough, now we are doing too much. And then whilst he's doing that, Nashan was bawling. Yeah. Was he asking for help? What, what was he saying? Well, he mostly did I say, mommy. And we just kind of couldn't believe what I mean, say. Maybe that's why I feel like I feel it because I actually stand up for a while and make that happen to him. But Rosie eventually intervened and paid the price. The bruises on her hand, back and legs tell the tale. Things would eventually settle, she says. The stepfather and the four-year-old retreated to the bathroom when it appeared the child had a seizure. The four-year-old was rushed to the Spanish Town Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Rosie says her boyfriend would use physical punishment in the past to discipline her son, but Sunday's beating was the worst. Would you say that he had an anger? Problem. Yes. In the for controlling anger. Was you, has your son ever expressed that he was afraid of him? Well, him, ever since him, him talked to him rough, like him, like him that say, go and go sit down and talk to him rough. I'm always a say, you don't need to talk to him like that, he must say. The man a girl, yeah, great man like girl. She insists she's always wanted better for her son, but never had the means to provide him with a good life. Before meeting her boyfriend a few months ago, she didn't have a stable living arrangement. Now she's homeless again and needs help to bury her child. The psychological impact of the incident is also taking a toll. To other women who may be going through a similar situation... Discipline your child yourself. Whether you try to forget him or family, just do it yourself. That was, I think that was my mistake. Trying to think that, like when I have the father figure, him get a father figure. If you want to help Rosie, you can call 876 210 or 876-460-8657.